Yo, what is up, Smash Bros. Super Nash Bro here, continuing some more Resident Evil 3. Uh, last time we were playing as Jill and we fought as, uh, we fought against Nemesis again. But this time he looked a lot different than before. He transformed into this weird dog looking thing with these fins and all that, and he infected Jill with, uh, I'm assuming the T virus. So now we're playing as Carlos and we gotta go find, uh, a cure for her if the game will let me and stop, you know slowing down so let me make sure i got all that i need got three things of healing items well plus is greener but i don't want to use it because you know there might be red herbs around here and i stopped off here last time because i don't know what's going to jump out at me oh god come on bro that's a lot of blood i don't like this okay what am i looking for just please no God, please no liquors or nothing like that. All right, this wasn't, oh my God. Seeing scratch marks, y'all know they have that stuff. Okay. I, I really hope y'all don't come to life. So you looked a little more damaged than normal. I'm just gonna, what if I walk on top of you? Okay, cool. Uh, we tried. I swear to God, we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst and imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant, and we've all and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Doctor Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Another doctor named Young, just like in uh, Arkham. Okay, why don't we have any? I don't have any lockpicks. Did we come through as Jill again, or? Okay, is there anything in this room that I can get? ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must ser uh, store their ID in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it, uh, have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Okay, ID cards, personal lockers, key in the courtyard. Awesome. Uh, so I need to open, what, this locker right here? No, that one right there. That's just the fridge. Huh. Alright then. I guess, wait, what is this? Oh, cool. Thanks, I needed that. Uh, is there anything else I can pick up in here before everybody comes to life? No? Okay. That wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. So where are we headed now? That's the save room. So, okay, we need to go to the courtyard. Where is that? It's in the first floor. And how do I get there? Okay. Uh, did I go this way? No, I didn't. Ah, oh, of course that's blocked up. That's the only way downstairs. I'm gonna look in the other rooms. Okay, game. Can you please... What's over here? There's a linen room treatment. There's gotta be some good stuff in there. Oh god, there's glass. Okay, just... Oh, I can go down there. I think he can go down there. Carlos seems like a buff guy to, you know, not take any damage when he 
lands like that. Okay, everything is okay. Um, I think I already went that way. You know, what? I'm just gonna head straight down there. Awesome. That is not a green herb. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you serious? Whatever. Oh, there it is. Of course. I need to put this. Oh, cool. I might as well combine it. Why not? Well, I need to get rid of something. I gotta go put this cassette tape thing back. Okay, I got the key. Now, head back the same way I got here the first time. Right here. Came back for this. Tactical grip. Now, if I combine you with you, what does that do? Uh, examine. Greatly reduces recoil. Cool. But does it make it stronger, though? I don't think so. Anyway, we got the key, so... Let's get out of here. Did I? Yeah, I did bring the key. I just put my knife back. All right. Let's uh, let's explore some more. Even though I don't want to do that. Wait, there's still stuff in the courtyard. You know, I'll look later. Let's get back to the task at hand. All right, let's look through here. Someone trying to come through this door right there. I'm assuming that thing's gonna come alive. Oh god. Not looking forward to this. Oh, they're trying to come through that door too. I go. Nothing. Note about tape recording. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abbott removing something from a locker in the nurse's station and walked towards the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. Da -da -da -da. So tape in the treatment room. That's right here. Oh, hi. Get back. You get back as well. Oh, big show. Ah, uh, before I get that, I need to get the ID in that one locker room. Why don't you reload automatically? Get back. How am I missing all these shots? You know what? How? Ooh. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Don't get back up. What's the Fight. Whoa. Hold on, bro. Are you serious? Ah. Uh, God. That's so annoying, bro. Alright, you know, let me see if I can, like, pop the head off for this dog. Jesus Christ, that's so annoying. You know what? I think I'm okay for now. You know what I mean? Like, all these zombies just eat bullets. Okay. Oh, there's another green herb. I was about to take that. Uh, that too. And so if I combine it with this, does that? Yes. Okay. There's something in here and I got to get past you for it. Nope. Move. Thank you. Was that everything in there? Besides. Wait. 
What was in there? I missed what was in there. Hold on. What door is she coming through? Oh no, I did get everything in there. It's just that safe. Okay. Still would have liked to not get, you know, eaten at that one point. Okay, so now that I got the key, was it? Which way was it? This way. Yeah, the lock. Before I do that, let me save. You can never save too much. Unless you want to get like a S rank or something like that. I'm gonna keep these two spaces open. Okay. I have a feeling that as soon as I open this locker, everybody's gonna come to life. And that's why I got this uh, flashbang. Wait, is this gonna. Will this work? No, that wasn't it. Or was it this one? Yeah, it was this one, right? Okay. Here we go. Run. No, it's going to happen next time I come through there. Oh, God. I saw you. I knew it was going to happen, bro. Alright, you better not come to life. Okay. Hospital ID card. Alright, I thought you were going to come to life for real. Oh, the fedoras, bro. In the boots. Mr. X was here. This is where he worked at. Oh, nice. Thanks. They know I'm going to need that. Got everything? Okay. Let me see. For John Ralph. Alright. Appreciate it, bro. So now I need to go back in here. And use it on that one door. Alright, which, which one am I going? Just straight forward and then right. Run! Nobody came to life. Cool. Wow. Uh, excuse me? The lizard? Do I even want to waste ammo on this thing? Get back. Get back. Please get back. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Whoa, relax. Okay, relax. Oh my god. Please get back. Get back. The dead. Jesus Christ. <sighs> All right, I only had to use one thing, but Jesus, that probably wasn't a good idea. But I don't want it to live. Okay, let me save after that. That boy was <laughs> he was ducking and dodging. Okay, is the key done? The key's done. Okay. Uh, do I want this knife back? I'll take this tape player so I don't have to go all the way back here. Run into one of those things. I'll just head straight there. Oh, man. That was quite worse than a liquor. I hope I don't have to run into another one of those things. Okay, there's simple lock. Linen room. It's this way, right? No, no, no. Yeah, it was this way. Okay, okay. I get lost a lot in these games, bro. Like, memory is just not something that's good to me. Did I ever go this way?
Is there another one? Oh my god. If there's another one, I'm gonna have to... I would use this, but... I don't have... I have no ammo. I'm just gonna have to throw both of these and then run. Okay. Oh no. I think maybe... I think maybe I was just hearing another regular zombie. I'm curious to know what this safe is, so I'm going to do something uh, unethical and look up the code. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Thank you. Oh, dual magazine. Thanks. I uh, used all my used all my ammo. So now you can hold 64. Did that come with ammo? I think it did. That's really cool. Um, I don't need to head in there. Okay. Just hurry up and use this thing and then get up out of here. It's a long hallway. I don't like it. Two of them? Hey, bro, I think he's dead. Is there something in there I need? Wait a second. Hold on. In the treatment room. Where is it? I'm assuming it's right there. <sighs> where is it? Where is it? I need to find that tape. Is that the tape right there by that TV? Okay, I'm going to toss one of these grenades. And then I'm dipping. Don't use this unless you absolutely need it. They can't hand me a grenade or nothing. Okay, here we go. I, you're serious. Ma'am, I don't have time for this. Okay. Oh, thank you. Hi. Probably should just use handgun. Thank you. Don't come back. Thank you. Red herb. Another green herb would be nice. Don't. Alright. That one zombie came back and that was annoying. Simple lock. Alright. At least you didn't do it when I was passing by you. Wait, what's in there? Oh, that's the treatment room. Oh, that's unlocked. So I can just go through there and then run to the records room. Okay. So. I don't think I'm ready for this, bro. Are you going to come back? Hold on. Yeah, because I don't need you halting my progress when I'm trying to make my way through here. <sighs> okay, okay. Here we go. Whoa! Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, 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 go. Where is it? Where is it? This it? That's it. Okay. Whoa! I said equip! Go, go. Is that everything in here? No, there's something else in here. You know what? Just run. Oh, God. Whoa. Whoa. Let me through, please. <sighs> okay. Go, go, go. Okay, which way was it? Nope. Wait. There's ammo. Go. Oh, God. Ah, dang it. Just head this way. I'm going to go ahead and use this. All right. And save. Oh my God. <laughs> Those things are terrifying. There was three of them. Is there anything I need? I'm going to take this knife just in case. 
All right, combine you with you. Can you play? I can't play you right now. Okay, now where do I need to go? Um, that's a simple lock. Simple lock. That's I'm assuming for Jill, since she is here. Okay, so I go down to the courtyard, and then I do something. Okay, I reload this. Okay, bop, bop, bop. Or I could just go down the stairs. You know what? Nah. Falling down. I was about to say, is he still there? Is there one down there? No, that's just noises being made. Okay, go. Oh my god, this is stressful, bro. There's still stuff in this courtyard. Is that it? The simple lock? How do I get there? I don't have any more, bro. I should have just took the hit and just kept running. Nah, because that thing would have killed me. Okay. This way, correct? How many things I got? I got two. Unless I find a green herb, which is highly unlikely. Okay. Stop making all that noises. Okay, there. Okay, just head up and... Oh, I did need... Why is there three of you? There's one, two, three. There's three of y'all now. Operating room. Oh, I can get in there. Hold on. Oh, I shouldn't be using that. I'm supposed to be using my handgun. No! Hold on. Ma'am, you better not grab onto me. Ah, I swear. Why did they do that at the worst possible time? Come on, go. Just open the door, please. Oh my god. Please be something in here. Nurse station? Ah, I already got that. Wait. Oh, a grenade and flash grenade. Perfect. Oh my god. Thank the lord. Oh, Jesus, okay. Um... I don't need this ID. Okay. I'm getting rid of you. Bye. Give me that. Yeah, everybody come over here. That way, I'm gonna run over here. Wait. Wait, I need that ammo. Ah, you better not. You better not. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm getting out of here. Bye. I was going to try and pick up that one ammo, but not anymore. Open. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first I just, place. Just, just open. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet. Oh, perfect. Don't care. Oh, green herb. And more ammo. Bard, don't tell me he's dead. Bard. Tyrell, Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit, and the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Hey, hey, hey oh, don't, don't rush me. Okay, perfect. Hang on. I don't think he did that himself, because he wanted to be rescued. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone, SMZ. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, uh, Chief of Police, Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Uh, Chief Irons, huh? 
Thursday, September 10, 1998, Orient, da, 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 Central, Host, Central Hotel. We would be honored if you joined us. Uh, Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for the new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Not sure what all that means. But let's do this and get out of here. Email. Greg, I know you're watching the news. The virus is going to devour the whole city. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail, and it's not for my family, not for the ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have to get me the H out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, which should sound pretty uh, chaste after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Okay. This is BRC Chief Nathaniel Bard. Oh, he's dead. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time is running out. It's September 29 today. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus, and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep... Create the problem and sell the solution. The rest of it is stored underground. of the board they want to destroy it they don't want the world to know what they've done so they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed no i'm not a fool i know they don't want me to that's when he was silenced Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Password correct. Okay. Is it here? It better be. I'm assuming it's that purple glowing thing. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah. Your hand don't hurt after that. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful. <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Hey man, I'm saying be careful because he's a black guy. Now Jill is literally over there, right? So straightforward, and that's it. Ah. Come on. You know what? I ain't got time for this. Die. Okay. Relax. Get back, get back, get back. Uh-huh. What now? What now? I ain't think so. Probably should have saved that for a horde of zombies. But you know what? We good. I am heading the right way, right? Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't get up out of here, man. Wait, there's something there. It's probably not for me. Or not for Carlos. Don't you wake up, bro. Hi. I just need to uh, get my friend the vaccine. All right, bro. I... No, no, you... Ha! 
I just don't understand, bro. I don't understand why one zombie can just mess everything up. Jill, where are you? She's in this room right here, right? You're gonna be okay, Jill. <sighs> Jesus, here's your vaccine, bro. Please take it. Do I need anything else? No. Take your vaccine. Take your medicine. Okay, I don't know what's going on with my face cam. I apologize. I'm moving like two frames a second, at least how I'm seeing it. Come on. This shit better work. Hey, give it a second, man. Oh, it's fast. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not <laughs> capable of rational thought. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Oh fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Hey, what? Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Man, nah, I'm ended off right here. Cuz uh that was wasn't too much, but those green things were annoying and just regular zombies by themselves are annoying like just, you know, doing what they do, getting up at the last second as you pass them by. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video right here. If you guys did make it to the end of this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. This is actually the first video of the year. So um, I'm hoping to be a lot more productive than how I was last year. I uploaded less in 2021 than I did in 2020. So I'm hoping I can like change that up a bit this year. Probably because my first year in college, it really I really underestimated it and I didn't think it would take that much more time out of me in the day. But I'm going to see what I can do for this year. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, be sure to like, comment and subscribe as it does help out the channel tremendously. And be sure to share it with your friends. So with that being said, I thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time.